This is such a cool car. If you have ever wondered if you could make a tough, big block muscle car look incredibly classy and still have flames to satisfy that hot rod desire deep inside, then take a good look at this stunning piece of 60s auto art. Isn't the 66 Impala Super Sport just gorgeous? The first time I set my eyes on this, my first thought was, damn, that's cool. But it wasn't until I actually got up close to have a good look at it that I realised just how cool of an automobile it actually is. I've always liked the Super Sport Impalas. The sleek lines with the hard top sloping down to the boot, the huge bonnet, almost as long as the boot lid, giving the appeal of an arrow with the long sleek lines. It kind of sits between a muscle car and a hard top with a cool cruiser with long lines. So as a street machine, it's a pretty cool build. The Impalas are tricked out quite nicely on the interior as well. The chrome trim and the dash and centre console, along with extra detailing on the seats and door cards, just step them up a notch or three from the normal everyday 60s ride. It was such a popular vehicle that the actual shape didn't change much over the years from 65 to 70. The easily spotable difference has been the tail lights changing from round to square and then recessed in the bumper, and that was pretty much it. I've always been a fan of the white interiors, although too scared to actually own one. The classiness of the white interior and just how it shows the extra detailing certainly is appealing with how it highlights in the design. Of course, when you're a bit of a rev head, it's hard to leave one of these alone, and it's classiness and style. They almost beg to be played with. The stock engine here soon got ripped out and replaced with a big block 454, stroked out to 502 because you can. Just to set it up with its hot rod appeal, the ghost flames added across the bottom of the doors just step it up that extra notch to give it a cool street machine look. All this grunt is shoved back to the back wheels via a shift kitted turbo 400 and then the trusty old 9 inch. So as a street machine, this thing's a pretty cool package. I, I love this car.